when the world was watching the American president and his misdealings with an American porn star, there was another story that broke that had more far-reaching ramifications for the rest of us. And that is that Jeff Bezos from Amazon had banned PowerPoint from his company presentations. And he's not the only one. In fact, in Switzerland, there is a political party that was set up to remove the constraints of PowerPoint from an entire country. Now, I talk about PowerPoint in this particular presentation, but I could also be talking about other types of presentation software out there. But there is no question that PowerPoint is still the industry leader when it comes to presentation software. In fact, a few years ago, Microsoft estimated that there are over 30 million PowerPoints being delivered every single day. And for any of us who have ever sat through one of these presentations would estimate that about 90% of these are pure crap. <laughs> we are sick and tired of seeing the same old bullet, type, bullet point type presentations we see in conferences way too often. But there are times when bullet point presentations are quite effective. <laughs> And of course, it leads us to a saying which we hear way too often. But don't throw away your PowerPoint just yet. Because in 2006, a movie was released that was nothing more than this man, Al Gore, delivering a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> proving to us just how effective and powerful this tool can be. Because he knew that we are visual creatures. He knew that we are more likely to remember what we hear when combined with what we see. This is the concept we use not only in presentations, we use in our everyday language. Sometimes words are not even needed. As demonstrated by my beautiful daughter right here. Now of course, the idea of using visuals in a presentation is nothing new. Some of you would remember, who remembers these by the way? Yes, old people. <laughs> but there's many ways that PowerPoint can be used. One way it can be used is to show us what you mean. Who knows what 90 grams is? No one. But we can, through the visuals, we can show people exactly what that means, giving that 90 grams some sort of meaning. Another way that we can use PowerPoint quite effectively is to create a tag. This is something that we learn, this is how we learn, this is how we retain information. I call it by creating a tag, but it's memory by association. And I have got um, two, three children, and um, here's my little boy Josh, and his very first word was tractor. <laughs> now I never sat him down with the word tractor and said this is how you say tractor. He immediately associated with the shape. Who knows what this is? Can you smell it? Can you feel it? It reminds me of my mother who used to bathe herself in musk perfume before locking the car windows and driving us to church. And now I hate musk, I hate, per uh, I hate church and I hate my mother. But that's not true. I don't hate church and I don't hate musk. But, but Steve Jobs used this concept very, very effectively. He would show up a big image and then combine it with the words and I'm told he's quite successful. We can also use it to create an immediate emotional attachment to what we are saying. And you never know <laughs> if PowerPoint is used properly, we could save the world. <laughs>